I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Montreal-based Dynacor Gold Mines, a dividend-paying industrial gold ore processor, reported a new quarterly record for gold sales. Unaudited sales of gold for the third quarter ended in September 30, 2021, came in at $61.9 million U.S., an increase of $37.8 million U.S., or 157 percent, over the $24.1 million U.S. reported for the third quarter, and in September 30, 2020. All amounts are in U.S. funds unless otherwise stated. This increase is mainly due to a growing volume of gold sold, due to record processing levels, which combined with a relatively stable gold price has enabled the company to increase its quarterly sales for the fifth consecutive quarter. Given that production for the third quarter of 2020 was reduced following the three-month shutdown due to the COVID-19 crisis, the current quarter is still up $19.1 million, or 45 percent, when compared to the $42.8 million reported for the previous quarter ending in June 30, 2021, which was also a record. Net income for the current quarter was $3.5 million, compared to the $2.2 million for the previous quarter and $1.2 million for the third quarter in 2020. The current quarter was the first quarter with the Veta Dorado plant running at its new capacity of 430 tons per day, following its expansion. This is an increase in throughput of 25% above the previous 345 tons per day capacity. The Veta Dorada plant is strategically located 15 minutes off the Pan American Highway near Chala in southern Peru. Ore purchasing and processing continued to be very strong in the third quarter, with 40,000 tons supplied by artisanal miners, another record, and more than 36,000 tons processed. Since the beginning of 2021, Dynacor has attracted ore in excess of its increased throughput capacity, ensuring a continuous increase in ore inventory which now sits at more than 14,000 tons, representing more than one month of production. This will enable Dynacor to continue running at full capacity until the year end and into the first quarter of 2022. Following this unprecedented productive quarter, the company is on its way to a historic annual production of more than 100,000 gold equivalent ounces for 2021. In September, the company announced revised financial guidance with projected sales of between $185 and $190 million and net income ranging from $9 to $9.5 million for 2021. Assuming the average price for gold remains around $1,785 U.S. per ounce and the company continues to receive a consistent average grade of ore. It also assumes a stable exchange rate between the Peruvian sol and the U.S. and Canadian dollars with the U.S.-Canadian exchange rate averaging $1 U.S. to $1.25 Canadian. Based on these exceptional results, Dynacor has increased its dividend for the second time this year, and the third increase since the dividend was initiated in October 2018. The monthly dividend will increase from $0.67 cents Canadian to $0.83 cents Canadian, or from $0.08 cents to $0.10 cents on an annual basis, a 25% increase. Dynacor, a founding partner in the PX Impact Gold program, produces environmental and socially responsive gold. A growing number of supportive firms from the fine luxury jewelry, watchmakers and investment sectors pay a small premium for this gold, which provides direct investment to develop health and education projects for the artisanal and small-scale miners' communities. With decades of experience in Peru, consistently operating and exporting gold since 1998, the company intends to expand its processing operations to other jurisdictions. The company also owns the advanced stage Tumipampa gold exploration property in south-central Peru's Apurimac department. As at September 30th, Dynacor's working capital was $34.2 million, including $17.8 million in cash. The shares are currently trading at $3.15. For more information, please refer to the company's news release, visit the company's website, Dynacor.com, or contact the company at 514-393-9000, extension 230, or by email at investors at Dynacor.com. I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.